Hello Pokemon Mosh Pit Beta viewers, I'm Bodge Dragon, and I'm here to bring you my very first Pokemon Mosh Pit Beta upload. Today I'm bringing you a standard U match with a good friend of mine, Anemos, that was on the Pokemon Online Smoke on server. On to the team preview, with the top half being my team, and the bottom half being Anemos' team, we pretty much just brought standard pokes and decided to have a good fight with it. So, pretty much my team revolves around having a combination of this, this core of Suicune that phases things out, him on top that rapid spins and drops toxic, and especially the defensive Especially defensive duo of Roserade and Claydol, who both put up hazards for Suicune to phase out as needed, with Specs Raikou pretty much punching holes through everything that comes in its way, and a mixed life orbic team that uses its mixed attacking to give problems to anything that wants to switch in, considering it has V Curate, Psychic, Grass Knot, and Focus Blast, just for as much cover as I can think of right off the bat, since I like Grass Knot, and while Thunder is nice, I was thinking of Grass Knot at the time I made this set. It actually does some work if given a chance. So. On Anemos' side, there's a Heracross, which I'm thinking is Scarfed, which could be problematic considering if Suicune and Hitmontop take too much damage, that thing could pretty much have an easy time picking up my party. Nido King, I'm thinking is Life Orb because he has Vic Victini, and having Victini, Heracross, and Nido King as choice Scarfers would be kind of silly, so I'm thinking that Nido King is Life Orbed. That Zapdos looks either offensive or especially defensive, just for the fact he has a Slowbro who is physically defensive, so. That Zapdos is either or, I'm thinking especially defensive, and Weavile, it's really an oddball that could do some work if Hitmontop and Suicune are down, and even then he'd have to get through Raikou, so that could be pretty much problematic since I don't see Weavile doing too much. So all I'm really worried about is that Heracross and potentially that Zapdos, but with all that being said, let's get on to the match. Okay, so first turn, I go into Raikou, and he goes into Heracross. I'm a bit sketchy about this Heracross, and I know Hitmontop can pretty much take anything it has to offer, so I decide to switch in him, as he goes for the Mega Horn, and unfortunately for me, he gets the first turn crit, which will actually make things a bit more interesting down the lines. It won't get too bad for me, thankfully, so. He's going to switch out to Needle King, considering Needle King can take just about anything Hitmontop has to offer, while I go to Suicune, thinking he's staying with Heracross. But unfortunately for me, I had to switch out because Neil King's in, so I have to switch the Claydol to dodge the T-Bolt, and then proceed to use an Earthquake to see what kind of variant this Neil King is. Turns out it's Life Orb as opposed to Scarf because he switched up the Ice Beam, because that did a lot of damage for the special defensive Claydol. So I switch out the Victini, predicting another Ice Beam, which works nice in my favor since I'm able to now finish it off with a V Cure 8. The reason why I went for V-Curate over anything else was I was a bit sketchy about him potentially putting in Weavile, especially if I were going to my Psychic Stab, considering if we all fight Weavile comes in on that, it could be very problematic for my Victini, so. Heracross comes back in, and it's Heracross versus Hitmontop round two. He goes for the Mega Horn, and judging by his damage, he is definitely Scarf, because I know for a fact Bandit will do more. I know he just doesn't want to stay in, considering it wouldn't help him benefit him too much, so. I decided to throw a Toxic, because Neil King's down, and I can hit just about everything on his team with Toxic. And it turns out that his Zapdos will actually help me defeat it in the next few turns. Now I go into Claydol to dodge a T-Bolt, because I'm pretty sure he would have to go for Stab at the range I was. I was pretty much dead if I stayed in. So, he actually surprises me for going for the Hidden Power. At the time of this Hidden Power, yeah, I thought it was Ice, but as you'll see in the next few turns, it actually could have been Grass, considering... I go in the Suicune thinking he'd go for no hidden power ice, considering that's what I was thinking at the time, but he goes for the T-Bolt, and that does a lot. And based on the fact he's not choice, that's definitely extra belt of damage, so that hurts, so. I go into Raikou predicting another T-Bolt, but he actually goes for the hidden power. Now based on the fact he did the hidden power again, I'm pretty sure that has to be hidden power grass, just because he wouldn't go for hidden power ice in a water type, unless it was like water flying, but even then, that'd be kind of silly, so. Here comes Victini. I'm worried about that thing, but I have played out to use his death fodder as he's pretty much not going to be doing too much any, too much more work, which is unfortunate, but Claydol did its job, so it deserves a nice rest. So. Here comes the Raikou, and I know at minus one, Victini is going to be slower, even if it's Scarf, so I decided to throw a T-Bolt at anything on this team, because nothing wants to take it, and he decides to go with Slowbro. I'll be honest, that's switching into Slowbro take it was kind of bad, as you'll, I'll explain a bit later on in the battle, but here comes Heracross again, and I switch them to hit him on top. After you Intimidate, he actually goes for the Earthquake, which does slightly more than Megahorn, but not really a noticeably more amounts. And I'm pretty sure he went for the Earthquake, predicting me to stay in, but I know that thing's Scarf, so I don't want to take that chance, so. Here comes Victini, and I go for a close comment, because I don't want to throw a Toxic at a Heracross, because that could be very bad because of Guts, so. I know at that range, a Sucker Punch can kill him. He sees that coming and goes into his Heracross. That, and the fact he gets rid of his Intimidate, so. A good play on his part. So I had to pretty much switch out and go to something else as Deathwater. 
I got on the Suicune considering I know it's at low amount of HP and you really can't do much. He misses his first, first Mega Horn, but it really doesn't matter considering. Unless he were missed this Mega Horn, which he doesn't. I wouldn't have been able to rest if he missed both of them, but he doesn't. So, here comes Hitmontop again, and it's Hitmontop versus Heracross again. So, this time he goes into Weavile to take the close combat. While this was a good plan in his part, I was referring back to the part with Slowbro. It actually kind of works bad, considering if he still had that Slowbro and let Weavile take the T-Bolt instead, he could have been able to suck up the close combat, and then kept the Slowbro alive, which could be very problematic, especially if he has, like, Psy Shock or Fire Blast from a Roserade. Speaking of, Roserade becomes Death Fodder to a Mega Horn, so int Intimidate hit him on top and come in again and do another Intimidate. Forcing him to switch out, but he actually does it and goes for the Mega Horn, so I'm like thinking, oh, okay, this is bad. I know at minus one of my range of life is going to be like borderline, so I'm going to have to switch out, which is gonna, which is pretty much unfortunate, but it's going to work. And so now this time I go into Raikou as Death Fodder while well, he hits his first Mega Horn. I actually survived that, and I say this because he misses his second Necro Horn, which, while it looks like it matters, it actually doesn't in the long run. I'll explain it after this ends, so. Pretty much, he brings in his Victini, who is pretty much going to have to lock himself into one move. He goes for the V-Create, knowing he's faster, but he's at minus one and at 4% life. I'm pretty sure for a fact a Sucker Punch from Hitmontop can't finish it off, so. With all that being said, that will be the game, and, there go and down goes the Victini. How unfortunate for it to continue, so. But before I get into the other, before I end this, I'd like to state the part where about the Mega Horn not, the second Mega Horn missing, not mattering so much, considering even if you were to hit it, I could just go in my hit on top, go for a close combat. If he switches out the Victini, it's going to be pretty much dead. And then I could switch out to my own Victini as Death Fodder, considering he'd have to lock himself into a close combat or Mega Horn. If he goes for close combat, he won't be able to kill my Victini. And if he goes for Mega Horn, my Hitmontop can resist it enough, just enough so I can use a combination of close combat and Sucker Punch to finish it off, because I have the assistance from Rocks, and the percentage of the HP it currently was, so. Even though he missed the Mega Horn, it really didn't matter in the ending result, as it was still my favor, it just would have been closer. The battle just could have been that much closer. But with all that being said, Good game of Nemos. I hope you enjoyed. Our links will be in the description and I hope you have all and I hope you all have a good day.